And here we go, the very last heat for these gentlemen tonight. Who is this going to be? Who's going to take the time? One minute, 31 seconds, and five to beat. going to be very close to the ball. All our gentlemen come out of the game. Hot center of the point. First to get the barbell in his hand. Play number three. And so far, we all here. I think Lucas Esslinger has an edge. I think Will Moore has an edge in the box first, though. Lane for five, no! In the lane number one, Dan Palin. First of the perfect box jump overs. Don't call the comeback, ladies and gentlemen. Six reps in for Dan Palin. Madero's having a raging pace. Man, how's it going? Good. <laughs> Good. Rough start to the day, much better finish. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you uh, closed out the day with an event win. Um, tell me a little bit about, about the moment. What did, it, what did it mean to you to be able to have that moment in front of the crowd, everybody pumped up after the kind of long road that you've been through the last few years? Uh, I mean, that was awesome. It's like, it's not something that you can really describe, you know? All weekend in any competition, you're going to have events that pop out of a hopper where you're like, oh no, and that was kind of the, the last event before this one, and then, you know, something like that comes up and, or follows it up, and it's like, okay, like, hey, it's time for a little redemption, and this is one that you can do some damage on for sure. You should be, like, top five, and, uh, you know, ended up pulling out a victory, so 21-15-9 is my, my game, so um, no thinking, all gas pedal. And uh, it was fun. I think it was a really close race. I think I only beat, beat the second place guy by like a second or something like that. So pretty fired up about it. I mean, to be an older guy, to go through what I went through in the past year, um, it means a lot to get an event win on this, this weekend with uh, the amount of talent that's in the heat as well, or in the, in the event. So um, yeah, it's great. It's one of those things that uh, it's hard to describe. No. How do you feel like the, the, the competing process has changed for you over the last couple of years? Because like, the last time you've been able to go through like a full set of regionals, a full set of competition, it's really been since 2016. So um, what's, what's changed for Dan Bailey in the last four years? Uh, I mean, a lot of things in terms of how I've approached training, mentally where I'm at with competing and those kind of things. I, mean, I fully admit I, didn't have a, I don't have a whole lot of expectations on the weekend, um, just because it's my first competition back. and. We're doing more events this weekend than we've normally done in a regional. Normally it's only two events a day. We got three events a day here. So, <clears throat> um, you know, I told myself coming into this, your health comes first. So if my health is ever at risk with anything, with my knee, my shoulder, something else, then I'm going to pull out, you know, and I'm okay with that because uh, I don't want to go through what I went through for the past year and a half again. And I don't want to put my employers through that, my family through that, my, you know, anybody else through that. So, um, they stepped up for me once. All the people I just mentioned, uh, immediately when something went wrong, the first texts I got were, we've got your back, like don't worry about it. We're gonna take care of you. So um, I got that from them. I don't need to do it again, you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm getting to the point where, you know, 35, it's I'm not old, but I'm not that young either. So um, I'm enjoying the opportunities I get. I'm gonna enjoy every moment of it. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the weekend. And um, granted, like I said, I don't have a lot of expectations. I never walk into an event or a competition to lose, so always compete to win. But yeah. um, health comes first. Yeah. So <clears throat> one day of competition left, a handful of workouts left. Um, what's your big takeaway so far? Uh, big takeaway, incredibly talented field. 
of uh, men and women. Um, super impressive numbers on that snatch last night, you know, and then obviously I can tell, you know, if, I'm, if I were seriously thinking about competing where the, where the gaps are at in that last workout. Yeah. I just could not hang with anybody. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so that has a little bit to do with only really training for the past six months or so, like taking it pretty serious. Um, that's not a lot of time to get back after taking a year a year plus off and having all the surgeries and everything so it's it's hard to be disappointed i'm not really upset i gave it everything i had and you know whatever the outcome is the outcome is so right on man good luck thanks so